So, Old Tub. That's kind of a weird name for a bourbon, don't you think? You know why it's called Old Tub? No, why? Because, actually, the uh, Master Distiller, um, Fredno, right? Mm -hmm. He bathes his bath water is used in the making of this bur bourbon. <gasps> Get out of town! Yeah, it's crazy, man. Did, did you read that on Reddit? No, <laughs> that's, that's real. Okay. Hey y'all, welcome to the Whiskey Warehouse. I'm Dylan. I'm Nick. The uh, information provided by Nick is wrong. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, Old Tub actually comes from uh, before they started using glass bottles and doing it individually. What they would do is uh, they would pour it into like a bathtub. That's the you got that part right. Uh, <laughs> well, a lot of people do do that. They like, would, they that pour. aren't single barrels. They put yeah. it in this huge tub thing. Yeah. So people would come down with those bottles and they would dunk their bottle in the tub and fill it up and pull it out and then they would pay for the, the bottle size when they oh. left. So That's interesting. Yeah, so you, I I, mean, I you were almost right. <laughs> <laughs> Except the part, but it, it'd make more sense if Booker No was, is Booker No still around? No, I don't uh, think no, he is. that dude died. All right. Dead. Fred No, I was going to say, it'd be called Old Tub because he was an old dude and yeah. he's his old tub water. So <laughs> this... This was the original Jim Beam. So before Jim Beam took their name and put it on it, uh, it was what was known as Old Tub. So they kept the name from when they. So this was a, a this was originally an actual like bourbon that they yeah, sell. Yeah, this is an back old, in the day. old bourbon. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so they would put it, like I said, in the tub. People would come down. Well, then they started bottling it, and they still called it Old Tub to remain true to the heritage. Well, then I think it said it was like 1940s or so they decided that they were not going to be calling it Old Tub anymore and that they were going to call it Jim Beam. Okay. Because it's a strong name, which ended up kind of like to compete with Jack Daniels. Right. So they, they took a strong name and they put it on there. Jim Beam was a real person, so it's kind of a cool thing. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. At least four-year age, bottled and bond, hunter proof. So, yep, yeah, that's what it means. Bottled and bond, very strict rules when it comes to making a bottled and bond bourbon. It has to be uh, made in the same distilling season, four years old, 100 proof. Uh, I think that's it, right? It's all the rules. Yeah. Little bib. And they're generally pretty cheap. Generally. This is about 22 bucks. Pretty good deal yeah, for 100 no, proof bourbon. Yeah. So uh, this is actually not charcoal filtered. It's not like there's no... It's unfiltered, Yeah, actually. there's no filtering process other than they run it through a strainer to get all the wood chunks out of it. Right. So that's kind of a cool thing. And it says on here, if you put ice cubes in it, that it'll actually get really, like... Strong? Yeah, it'll get murky. Murky. And that's just because they didn't strain no, it through no, the filter and stuff like that. Right, yeah. okay. So it's kind of a cool deal. Uh, this is, like, true to... They said it's just like drinking it right out of the barrel, except for they watered it down, obviously. Right. And rumor has it, this is watered down Booker's, right? Yes. That's okay. same, supposed to be the same mash bill. It honestly t kind of tastes like the Booker's, the, the, the grandma's or whatever. Well, I'm not going to say anything, but pour us up, and I'll tell you why I don't think it's watered down Booker's. Because we tried it last night when we both got it, and we kind of told each other our notes and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's normal. It's not too bad. Let's see, is there anything else that I wanted to touch on this? Oh, that's a limited release, too. It is. So if you see it, get it, and maybe if you see it somewhere else, grab another bottle. Yeah, I mean, it's only 20, it side. 20 fucking bucks, dude. That's fucking incredible. <laughs> I haven't paid 20 bucks for a bottle and since I bought Wild Turkey back in November last year. This is kind of cool. We got like the little jugs back here that they used to fill up in the tub. Okay. So that's kind of a cool deal. Sour mash. Uh, this is the... I don't really know too much about it. Like I read up on it, but there wasn't too much information, obviously, because it's... This is kind of like a unique deal. The color is nice. I have to say... It's like a light caramel color. Yeah, it's light. Yeah. I was about to say it's very light. Lighter than the... Uh, For four years, I would expect a little bit... Like the still Austin that we just did was a little darker than this. I think the char kind of like, like you said, yeah, the that. Texas heat, the, yeah. the char stuff like that kind of plays into the 
into the uh, factors here. Right. Uh, legs. Still on the debate. Start coming down. I don't see any online anyway. Fucking thick there, buddy. Oh, there you go. Thick. Thick. It's going to the nose. It's like it's a light nose. It's not like super complex. No, it's not. Like the still Austin was so like complex compared to this. This is very it's dry. It was deep. This is dry and maybe like. A little caramel. I, I do I get caramel. Mostly like just alcohol coming out of there. I know. It's like a lot of oak on this. Yeah. A lot of oak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not overly complex nose here. It's pretty good. It smells good. I mean, it's not like the best. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, there's more complexity to this than the nose is hinting. Like, the nose to me would be like. If I smelled this, I'd be like, this is like a $10 bottle of bourbon, max. Right. Because it's just so, like, plain. It's, it's kind of flat, the nose. But let's go into the taste. You get a little nuttiness, I guess, on there. Yeah, yeah. I want to say peanuts, but that wasn't right. It's just, like, mixed nuts. Well, I mean, we expressed our thoughts, but... I know, but... Let's yeah. get into it, buddy. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. really sweet. Vanilla. Caramel. Candy, man. Sweet candy. What Cassandra said was candied peanuts. And that's kind of like, not like a peanut brittle, but like, like kind of like honey, honey roasted peanuts and stuff yeah. like that. I don't know, there's stuff I get on this like today that I wasn't getting yesterday. Today the peanut isn't so prevalent, like it's more like watered down. I do get a lot of honey on the front. Like honey, <clears throat> have you had Bitto honeys with candy? Mm-hmm. They kind of taste like that. Bitto honey, and then it kind of goes the vanilla, and then I get like nutmeggy tar at the the end there. It's kind of mm -hmm. bitter. I was thinking baking spices for sure. Like, right. It's all there. Brown sugar, a little hint of cinnamon. Maybe some clove? But not too like prevalent. You I really kind of get like search a for it. big pears, like scotchy. Hmm? Is that what you're saying? Like no, like scotch. Big, big pears. Baked pears. I've big, never had a baked pear. Like, like a pear, but like sweeter. You know, mm. like a baked apple or whatever. But pears have that distinct taste to them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is pretty good. It's definitely like we're not Jim Beam fans by. Any regard, like neither one of us goes not, to the store not to Jim find Beam, Jim Beam the bourbon, but yeah. they have products that we do like Booker's was pretty good. Yeah, not, not no, Creeks, it's very good. a pretty mm -hmm. standard good bottle. Yep. Um, Baker's is okay. Well, when okay. I have it, we'll get it. This literally just has Jim Beam Distilling Company on it. Like Knob Creek has its own little. Well, it's, it's owned but, by. But they still make it though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, they're on their own distillery. Right, like they're a different spot. Like, this is made at the Jim Beam. Is it Knob Creek made at the Jim Beam? No, Knob Creek's made at its own facility. You sure? Yeah. Oh. They, it's weird the way that they that that ended up happening. But I did some research on it and I found that out. It is a Jim Beam product, but it's not the same. Gotcha. They uh, sell it at the Jim Beam facility. Yeah. Well, I would imagine that they yeah. would. All of them. All the products. Brown sugar. And caramel. What is that, though? It's I almost want to say banana. But, like, yeah, a little bit. I would agree. It, it seems, like, now that you say it, not in the Jack Daniels type of way. No, of it's, like, a sweeter. It's sweeter yeah. banana. Like, like those banana... Like plantains? Yeah, like the sweeter banana hard candies. Remember? Mm -hmm. Like you got in, like, the uh, quarter machines. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. Right. Kind of like that. That was uh, actually based off of a real banana, but it, it went extinct. So mm. they don't. Interesting. Yeah. This is good. Uh, finish isn't too bad either. It goes down really, really easy. Like even last night, I ate some some salsa with some jalapeno on it, and it still went down like 
really easy. <laughs> and normally that's like a no-no. Because okay. you have jalapeno and it's like, oh, God, dang, ah. You know? Yeah. And this goes down and it's just like, yep, I'll pour another. This is good, dude. I, had, I like I think it. I had like three cups last night. Kind three, of. Three glasses of this. I night. had a couple, too. And then good. I had uh, one, I don't think I told you this, but I picked up a bottle of that, uh, seen that Woodensville? Yeah. You told the, me the port, port wine. Right, the port. Yeah. Did I tell you that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I picked up the port. God, Which was, dude, is, that shit was so dark. It was like, like red. The, dark the, red. No shit? Yeah. I can't wait to try it. Tastes like straight up cherry juice, dude. This is like, the lower, it, it's weird because every time that we drink it, the lower down in the glass it gets, the more I'm like smelling stuff come out. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. For sure. There is something in there that I just can't quite put my finger on. And I wish I could. You got the banana. I don't get as much oak now. Banana. Cinnamon? Banana and vanilla. Bacon spices. Nutmeg and pepper on the end. That's kind of pretty much the basis of what I get. It tastes here. like a cookie. A cookie? Yeah. Like a stick noodle? No. Uh, like chocolate chip without the chocolate chips. Just regular, like a sugar cookie? Like, with, with like dark sugars, yeah. Mm. I guess that would be accurate, you know? If you really think about it. I can see that. It's good. It's sweet. It's very good. I like this. I uh, like it a lot. Especially for the price, man. It's awesome. So what do we score? This is good, dude. Um, I'd probably put it like an 87. That's pretty high. Yeah. Super wow factor. For well, I, I'm, yeah, I love I love bananas on bourbons. I love that tropical notes because that's, that's so unique. That's the that's the wow factor right there. The banana. The uh, banana. -na. Pretty sure that's how you say it. No, don't say that. We'll get copyright strike. Don't do that. What? <laughs> yeah, you can't sing songs. I'm just singing how to spell bananas. No, we'll get copyright strike. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. 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 Sorry. Even though we, we don't even have 200 subscribers, but Sorry, they'll Gwen. find us. Sorry, Gwen. Actually, I don't think it really matters because we don't make any money. We don't make any AdSense in our videos, so it doesn't matter. Well, I'm pretty sure if you just have like a clip of it, like a very small amount, then you can get away. I, I was looking this up for the podcast. I've seen other YouTubers like hum shit or even just to the beat and they copyright strike for it. That's just being petty. It's bullshit. They just want to steal the revenue. But we don't make anything, so I don't think they want to come after us. You know what I mean? They only want people with money. Yeah, but, if they... Tried to sue us, I'd be like, I don't have anything. Go ahead, take it. We, I <laughs> Sorry. Mean, we didn't make anything off of this video. We're not sponsored. We don't get ads. We don't get videos. AdSense. You're we don't welcome. get nothing. <laughs> you're welcome, YouTube. How many videos you watch with ads? Like, you watch Whiskey Vault. Guess what you're going to get? You're going to get, like, six ads throughout that video. Mm -hmm. How many ads you get with the Whiskey Warehouse? Zero. Zero. Not three. Zero. Because we're Zero. a small channel. Very small. Yeah. We're, we're niche. We're like, uh, what is it called? Uh... Cult. We're cult? Yeah, we're like cult classic, right? Welcome to the cult. Yeah. Welcome to the whiskey warehouse well, cult. You welcome can to the whiskey cult. <laughs> the whiskey cult. The whiskey cult. <laughs> Your initiation is that you have to have. You gotta chug a bottle of bourbon. You gotta chug a bottle of bourbon to get in. <laughs> and not be <laughs> Or go to the hospital. Or go to the hospital. <laughs> be like, okay, you're in. <laughs> mm. But if you die, you're out. You're in? Urine. Urine. I mean, that's what happens when you drink too much whiskey. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna score this. This is a hard score for me because I like it, but I don't know if I like it enough to well, get it over an 85. Here's where I'm coming from. 87. Like 22 bucks, bro. 100 proof, and it tastes fucking yeah. delicious. All those three factors I equals mean, 87 for me. I mean, if it was like 40 bucks, I'd probably go like, uh, like 84, 85. I think, I think I gave Evan Williams' bib like a 92. Or maybe a 90. I think I gave it a 90. Yeah. I like to compare those two, man. This would be... We should start good, another good Battle of the Bonds. Bring yeah. back Battle of the Bonds. Hell yeah. Uh, I think this is going to get an 85. 85? It's, it's good. It's very good. Like, it's it's good enough that I 
am gonna restrict myself from drinking this, which I say on like almost every podcast. <laughs> but then we come back. Like, yeah, I drank <laughs> that. So we can't review it. No. No. Here's my thing. Like, that Weller you gave me. Is that gone? No, I, oh. I barely touched it. Oh, good. Other than when I poured that stuff, that was the last time I drank it. Was when we did the golf outing. Yeah. I'll well, speak of the golf outing. <laughs> if you want to see a funny clip Go of uh, Instagram of uh, Dylan hitting this monster drive. Dude, it would have been. It'll be, it's like 30 seconds. I'm gonna throw it right here. It would have been. This ball right here is supposed to go fucking dead straight every time you fucking hit it. There you so go. So hopefully Dylan knocks this thing about 350 yards. I hope so. Make sure you swing hard, dude. You gotta fucking launch it. Ready? Yep. Damn, you hit that real hard. <laughs> it would have been my best drive of the day. It would have been. <laughs> I felt good when I was coming through. I was like, oh, there it is. And then as soon as I hit it and the contact that it made, like the noise, yeah, that was a good drive. Like It, it probably would have went freaking straight. Probably. Nick ruined it. <laughs> my one good drive of the day. Uh, yeah, I, I like this enough that I'm going to keep it like around. If I find another bottle or two, then I'm gonna throw throw one to the attic, and then the other one's gonna go uh, in my. Yeah, same. I'm probably gonna pick up maybe two more bottles, one just to have and one to keep, you know, later down the road. Yeah, like three years, three, four years, five years from now when it's not released anymore. Yeah, like, they don't have it anymore. That'll be cool. Fetch a pretty penny. By the way, on the secondary market already, this is at fifty dollars. Can you believe that? That's crazy. They $50. just released it too. It, uh, well, as you know, it's fall is bourbon its, season. Yeah, it's working its way around the country, so I would imagine that's playing a part in it. And then also their limited release. So mm -hmm. this, uh, I think they did the repeal batch for a year. They did another batch for a year. So I would imagine this is going to be like a year long thing, and then they're going to pull it. And Nick and I are going to buy bottles on bottles of this to throw somewhere and then sell it down the road, maybe. Figure it out from there. Yeah. I wouldn't say sell it, but I might. redistribute I somewhere. Redistribute. <laughs> <laughs> That's a better word for it. Uh, yeah, I guess until next time, guys, this has been the Whiskey Warehouse. Uh, check out our podcast. You're going to see that. It's going to be Old Tub. Yeah. So maybe next week. If we haven't coming. already released it. Oh, that podcast will get released today. Right. But this will be next week. So. Oh, right. Yeah. Go we'll ahead and yeah. check out our Old Tub podcast. It's going to be better. The Spotify link will be in the description. Yep. It'll be better than uh, than the actual episode itself. It always is. Mm -hmm. I love listening to our podcast. And so does uh, Nick's brother. And yeah. Jemiah likes listening to it. A lot of people actually like have told me that they enjoy yeah. our podcast. So. Right. Yeah, I do too. I listen to it when I work sometimes. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. All right, guys. Until next time. See you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, much appreciated. If you like that, maybe you might like these videos up here. And consider subscribing to the channel. Check them out. And uh, maybe get us get some merch from us. Something like that. You know, hook us up. Thanks guys. Bye.